We are at Olympic National Park, but it is the truck from the Twilight movie. And then Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are at Olympic National Park. We are checking this out and then we are going down to Forks to check out some twilight spots. So we are here at the visitor center. We actually had to re-up our uh, national pass, national park pass. Um, third year, having one. Definitely recommend if you don't, because you should be visiting all the parks in the country that you can. Because even if you can't travel far, maybe you don't have the money, you're saving you know, for a new house or whatever, new car, or just saving in general, you probably have a national park within a few hours of you. Uh, no matter where you are. So definitely recommend, go check it out, get on the trails. We are now gonna head up Hurricane Ridge and uh, go see the viewpoint up there and then kind of figure out our plan because we need to get down to Forks, but we really want to check out the park, but we don't know what's gonna be open here. So it's kind of a, just a hit or miss kind of day. So let's get going. Well, your advice, maybe too heavy, yeah, you want to do it? You know, because it just depends on how long you've owned this vehicle and how, you know, how you can deal with it, that's all. So, if you got it? chains, and they're not going to say anything to you, they'll let you go all the way. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> yeah, for a while there, it was white out. Right now, you can see a little bit. Oh, it's that bad up there? Yeah, it was white out on time. Well, as you guys heard, the park ranger said... Uh, is white out conditions up there. Uh, it was earlier, and the weather's actually as you guys saw starting to rain looks like it's probably taking a turn for the worst so we actually just turned around don't want to risk brand new echo going up and coming down and slipping and going into a ditch or <laughs> god forbid off a cliff so we are going to be headed to forks kind of disappointing we really want to see that view up top and we'd have been up above the clouds have been a beautiful view but just because it's clear up here doesn't mean it's clear up there and like the park ranger said it was literally white out conditions up there earlier so we are going to uh just get on the road to forks and we'll get there a little bit earlier and have some daylight so i guess it works out we can take you on a little twilight the book not the movie tour we'll explain that more when we get there so we couldn't get to the top of hurricane ridge but on our way to forks of course we have to pass lake crescent and this is beautiful, breathtaking view. Doesn't get much better unless it was sunny because then this water would be very like turquoise from what we've seen. We could see it a little bit back there when the sun was peeking through, but now it's uh, not so much, but it is getting warmer. As you can see, you can see kind of that turquoise blue color right there on the left. But look at this. Talk about a beautiful spot here in Olympic National Park, Lake Crescent. So we told you guys we were coming to Forks and we sure are here. <laughs> so this is Bella's truck. I don't think it's the actual one, I'm not sure, but it is the truck from the Twilight movie. And then next to it is actually, I believe the one that was represented in the books. So of course, discrepancies, but it's pretty cool. All right, everybody, it's the famous Bella Swan house. Look up in the window. <laughs> Edward in the window. Very, very cool. It's being remodeled. No, not really. Neil told me I had to tell you that the remodel was a joke. Is Esme and Alice uh, that are doing the remodel, so it's a joke. <laughs> Esme's moving back home to Forks. <laughs> but we got something cool right behind us now to show you. This doesn't look very cool, but then you gotta look closer. Reserved parking for Dr. Carlisle Cullen, and it's right at the actual Forks Community Hospital. <laughs> So yeah, sorry, uh, we stole your parking spot for today. So this is their actual administrative offices. It's the weekend, so they're not open, which means we can actually park right here and get a picture. 
So errors were made today. We got here too late, it's 3.40, and there's like a forever Twilight Museum that actually has tons of props, costumes, things like that. And they close at 4 p.m. and we're like, oh, okay, then we can just gonna crash here in the morning, wake up, go check it out. Well, they're only open Friday and Saturdays, so they're not open tomorrow. Oopsies. So we could go to La Push. Uh, we have to get a permit and then go on to the reservation land there. Don't know if we're gonna do that or not. Um, so we'll catch you guys in a little bit when we figure out our game plan. <laughs> So we decided to go on the hunt for a camp spot on National Forest land and uh, we're kind of running out of time before it gets dark here so we're hoping we can find something. We've been looking on iOverlander and there may be some spots coming up but you never truly know with those until you get there so we're kind of hoping it's not totally dark. Bjorn, are you showing everybody your spot up on the dashboard? Well, with just a little bit of daylight left, we found a quiet, peaceful campsite for the night with service on a national forest road. You're at going to. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's really that quiet out here. And there is a creek over here, guys. I don't yeah. Know. yeah it's can't. called South Fork Something Creek. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. Wish we could see it. But <clears throat> we are going to get inside. We got to feed the cats. And then we are going to make some dinner. We got a few options, so we got to see what we're feeling. We'll, we'll show you. Show you that deliciousness. So we're getting ready to prepare some dinner, like we said, and I'm going to show you. But, you know, we've been in Oregon now for a few months. We've had this rig now for a month, and we have been dealing with the humidity issue. And we bought some, like, humidity-absorbing pads and stuff, not working. Uh, so we actually ordered, and it was delivered today. So when we get back to the campground, we will get it, a small humidifier because we have been dealing with along the edges back here uh, basically like mold starting to form and then we have to continuously wipe it down I wipe it down you know and actually it's been pretty much every day or every other day now and then we have uh, some antimicrobial spray that we spray on there that prevents mold um, but we didn't think to check inside where the clothes are and Brittany's putting her clothes in there and there's some starting to form so we got to get on that right now clean it real quick uh, and then get some of the antimicrobial spray on there and then hopefully humidifier will take care of the issue because the absorbing pads that we bought at Walmart they're a little no, pricey okay. and they're like okay this is better than the tubs it looks like you know the tubs of uh, damp red which we've used before uh, doesn't work they suck so piece of advice don't get those pads because they're horrible those absorption pads and also this is reality this is RV slash van life in the humid Pacific Northwest where it has rained every day besides maybe five since we've been here. <laughs> um, not including the first week. The first week we got first very, week was very really lucky. Nice. It was beautiful and sunny and warm. Uh, but let's tackle that and then we will show you guys some food. So on the menu, we're going to make some burgers. We bought this Butcher's Blend premium cuts of beef. I don't know how premium it is, but we'll see. And then actually right here, the company I'm working with now, I'm no longer working with 5% Nutrition. I'm working with a company called Bucked Up, and they actually have seasonings. So not only do they have all your multivitamins, greens, things like that, all the different products, but they have seasonings. So we're going to try Hawaiian barbecue on our burgers, see if it gives it a little pineapple barbecue taste to it. Check that out, throw some cheese on it, and then uh, we're, we were being lazy, or being smart, and we bought some Panera mac and cheese. Definitely smart. <laughs> so we'll warm that up in the microwave because we can do that because we have a big lithium battery system. So we'll kick the inverter on, cook that mac and cheese up, eat some delicious burgers. So I guess we'll cue the uh, cooking montage now. <laughs>
people know how it is. Well, which part? The burger. We're using new seasoning on it, so. Oh, we know the mac everybody's, and cheese is good. Yeah, everybody's had Panera mac and cheese. <laughs> Probably not everybody. <laughs> mm mm. That's good. It's good. We don't want some. Mm hmm. Can't have any. You have <laughs> toys over there. Go play with your toys. <laughs> you just ate dinner. All right, well, time for us to eat. All right, so dinner was delicious. That Hawaiian barbecue seasoning gets an A plus, but now, uh, as you guys can see, we're airing out our <laughs> airing out our uh, little shelf cupboards here um, after the potential mold intervention. I don't even know what to call it. It was a mold intervention, but it was a potential disaster on our hands. But we haven't showed you guys this yet. I don't believe. Maybe we'll have a video before this one. Uh, but this right here is our wall-mounted projector, and that is exactly what we are going to use right now. We are going to put a movie on, uh, pull down the projector screen, and then we will catch you guys in the morning. Not sure uh, what we're exactly doing tomorrow. we got to get back to Oregon. Um, we'll, we'll probably uh, show you the drive because we're going to be going through some new areas. Good morning. Bjorn says good morning. He's ready for his breakfast. We're cooking up some eggs, toast, and we're gonna make some what guacamole toast, I guess it's called. Avocado. Avocado toast. toast. Uh, Avocado it toast. is guacamole. Yeah, we're using guacamole, but you know, same thing. Yeah. Same difference. So we're gonna make some avocado toast, and then we're gonna hit the road. But I gotta get to it. There's the finished product, avocado toast. Now time to eat up and hit the road south. Yum. This right here is why we keep losing our public lands to camp on. Look at this. Let me pull up here, guys, for you. Check this out. I mean, an oven. Look at all this junk. This is just ridiculous. And the road's right there. So if you're any of those people that are dropping off garbage, and you can tell it's right here, just in off the main road, you need to reconsider life because not only is that just plain disrespectful to others that want to use this public land to camp on, you know, for a nice free overnight peaceful stay, which last night our was sleep so was quiet. great. One Jeep went by uh, doing some night overlanding. He really decked out awesome Jeep. Um, I wish he would have came by earlier, we would have checked his Jeep out, but uh, he or she, I don't know, I couldn't see the driver, but it was too dark, but they had a sweet setup. But uh, yeah, it's just a peaceful place to stay, it's free, we got a lot of uh, national forest lands, especially, you know, Pacific Northwest, over to Southwest, those areas, but they keep getting closed down each year because of people dropping garbage, like that, junk, bring it to a dump. If it's an oven and it still works, give it away for free. Even if it's broken, offer it away for free. Somebody will probably go, you know, take the time to scrap it for the money or fix it. So, anyways, we are headed to Aberdeen. We're gonna get coffee at this really cool coffee spot. And then we're gonna visit a little piece of history. You guys uh, might know the band Nirvana, so. Uh, mm. Just uh, keep that in mind as we get to Aberdeen. And for all you Pacific Northwesters, you know what's in Aberdeen. <laughs> but we'll see you guys there. Well, we stopped at our coffee shop and it got some pretty cool looking stuff. This is called Winter Wonderland. It's essentially a peppermint mocha type deal. Really cool looking with it being pink and green. And then they also make bubble waffles, which I've never seen before, but it's literally like bubbles. And Neil wanted fluffernutter with yeah. it. You know what fluffernutter is? Yes. 
Seriously, it's fluff and peanut butter. Yeah, deliciousness. Did so. you seriously just ask me if I knew what fluff or nutter was? You're, you're from Vermont. You guys don't I know. I grew that. up eating fluff or nutters. You don't, wrong you, with you. You don't know these things in Vermont. But I got maple syrup, which I don't know where right it there. is. Oh, I got maple syrup because that's what you're supposed to eat with a waffle. No, fluff or nutter. <laughs> and the kitty cats didn't get any coffee. It's not in their diet. But little guy's hanging out. You can't see it on the camera. So he's a black cat, but he's actually getting red in him. It's pretty cool. We just noticed that while we were waiting for coffee. So we're gonna enjoy the bubble waffles, some coffee, and then we're gonna get over to this spot in Aberdeen to show you guys something really cool. So we made it to stop number one here. And who is that? This is the Kurt Cobain Memorial Park here in Aberdeen. So figured any fans might wanna see that. It's just a little small, tiny park. Um, nothing too spectacular, but the uh, city put it up. So mm, there's not more. Too, not too bad. Let's go around and see see this. And they also have this memorial stone here. Kurt's air guitar. Another statue they have here for him. So I myself am not a big Nirvana fan, but I can recognize he is a legend. And of course his death kind of added the fuel to the fire of the legend, what he could have been. And then the rumors or theories behind his death. So there is that. But we have one more stop, kind of, drive-by. Drive-by. <laughs> that we're gonna attempt here. Kurt Cobain's childhood home. Obviously, it's a privately owned house now. It's been a long time since he passed away. So we don't want to be disrespectful and go stand Actually, in front of it or anything like that. It's been but almost 30 years. Yep. 30 years next year. So those were a couple of uh, spots that actually we had no idea we're we were going to stop and see at all. I just happened to see them on Google Maps. Um, and I can't say that Aberdeen is somewhere that I'd be likely to come back to again anytime soon. But it's, we did. Uh, we saw the this stuff in Nomadic Fanatics videos. Yep. Is he is from Aberdeen or he went to school here or something. Uh, so he came and showed the spots. So when we saw the, heard the name Aberdeen, we kind of like it. We're like, why do we know that? And then it, obviously Google Maps popped up and showed it because we were, well, Brittany was looking for coffee. So that's how she discovered it. But that's how you find the good stuff. So Google Maps for the win, but we're gonna continue on our drive and keep going south and we'll see if anything else catches our eye in the meantime. All right, everybody. Well, we made it back. Made it back a while ago. We are stopping at some burgers at this pretty good place. I think it's called Nancy Joe's. Yep. And we are back in now Albany and just been cleaning up, getting things situated after a few days out, you know, on forest roads and just traveling. Things get a little bit messy, but we actually got our dehumidifier in, as you can see that little thing right there in the background. Um, and it's already sucking some water, so uh, positive on that front. But other than that, I think that's where we're just going to leave you guys for this video because it's been all over the place. I was traveling <laughs> around, checking out all kinds of things. And um, we'll definitely uh, let you know if we make it back to Olympic National Park and actually you can make it up without whiteout conditions. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Let us know if you've been to Olympic National Park or if you're a Nirvana fan. We'd love to hear from you. Or better yet, if you're a Twilight fan. Yeah. <laughs> any of the above um, but also if you haven't already please consider subscribing to our channel we actually have another big adventure coming up in just a couple of days so stay tuned to see where we're going next see you guys next time
about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see